Hello everyone, in this video, let us uh, take a look at uh, a question that was asked uh, not on the community but on my YouTube channel. So recently uh, I received, not really recently but a uh, few weeks ago I received this question uh, from a user called JJ and uh, this question is all about uh, uh, I need to get Jira ticket status using uh, Jira ticket number what is input json and api for that so basically this user is asking about how to get uh, the status of uh, an issue in jira of course using uh, rest api so i thought i'll probably uh, create a very quick uh, video and i'll uh, show him and in fact everyone who is interested how to do this so let us see uh, let us take an example of uh, this uh, issue that we have here and the issue key here is uh, PROJX-14. Now if you look at the issue status here, the issue status is of course to do and using the REST API you can also fetch uh, in fact uh, other details not just the status. But uh, the important thing here is to understand how to do it very easily. So what I recommend is I uh, recommend this user and in fact everyone to search on Google like Jira REST API. So if you search on Google you will be uh, presented with uh, different options uh, and uh, I recommend you to click on the first or second uh, link. So basically you want to find this uh, documentation, this page where you have the information about the REST API and uh, this uh, rest api reference will uh, will basically help you in understanding what all you can do with the rest api now you have this uh, information uh, both for server and uh, of course cloud now if you look at this uh, this page uh, you can uh, take a look at jira software rest api jira service test rest api and so on now let us click on uh, this uh, link jira software uh, server REST API. If you click on it, you can uh, view the uh, the reference or uh, uh, the documentation of uh, uh, of what all things you can do with the with the API with the REST API. And uh, this is uh, the 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 page where you can uh, read different things. And you can just do a simple search on this page. Let us say if you want to search for something like. Uh, I'm just giving you an example. Let us say you want to do something with the workflow. So you can search for uh, workflow and you will get a lot of options here. Like uh, you can get uh, all the workflows and you can get the details of the workflow schemes. So this is of course to do with the Jira admin rights. So Jira REST API will let you do a lot of things uh, using the REST API but of course you need to have the relevant rights and uh, in this video let us not worry about the authentication let us just do something very simple and uh, we will probably search for uh, maybe issue or uh, how to get the information of uh, an issue so you can probably search something like this get issue and uh, this is uh, there for us you can uh, read it and the most important thing here is to understand uh, uh, how to use this uh, this uh, particular uh, get issue uh, which is of course one of the resource that we want to consume uh, using the rest api of jira maybe from a different tool or maybe you are uh, trying to integrate jira with some other tool so you of course have this uh, example where you can see the uh, the possible outcome if the status is uh, uh, 200 and you can of course uh, do the same thing you can actually uh, test it uh, based, based on uh, maybe a sample or a test issue or maybe an actual issue in your Jira instance and you can do this test very easily using your browser. So for doing this uh, test using a browser you can uh, either use the URL uh, or, or the address bar on top or you can uh, use some plugins so for each and every browser like chrome or firefox and i'm sure there is a plugin or some extension for ie where you can uh, play with the rest api and of course you can use any rest api client or you can use of course your uh, programming language but to do a quick check what you can do you can uh, use this uh, this uh, url for example if you want to get the information of an issue you can use something like uh, slash rest slash api 
slash two and then of course issue which is the resource and then you need to pass in your issue key or issue id so if i probably use something like this i have already the same issue which is uh, projx-14 i'm trying to use this uh, this path which is of course the path of my rest api for getting the information of an issue i can simply pass in my project uh, key or not the project key but the issue key and the moment you press enter uh, this is already on the screen but uh, the moment you press enter you will get the information of this uh, issue called p r o j x hyphen 14 and you can see here that you have of course a lot of information you have the information about all the custom fields if they are filled you will you will see some values you can also take a look at uh, uh, the status or the person who is involved maybe the assignee or the reporter so let us uh, take a look at the status here so the status right now is uh, to do and uh, you can of course verify it if you go to the ui but you can of course change it to in progress for example so if you change it to in progress you can go back to the uh, same page and if you do a refresh you can uh, immediately see that uh, this is now in progress so this is a very simple example and uh, and of course if you look at the documentation it says that you, you can either use issue key or issue id so the issue id is something that you can easily figure out if you hover your mouse on top of uh, the edit button and uh, if you look at the uh, the the url uh, it has the issue id so the issue id i can see here is 10890 and you can also go back to the actual response which is the json response uh, uh, where you, you where you also have the issue issue uh, id so you can also copy this and uh, let us try to replace the 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 uh, issue key with the issue id and if i press the enter key i get the same result uh, so this is something that you can do easily with the help of rest api and uh, the reason i wanted to uh, do this video is basically uh, because of the fact that a lot of uh, people search for uh, uh, search for interacting with jira using rest api using maybe their tool maybe they are trying to integrate with jira maybe they are trying to uh, talk to jira using uh, their favorite programming language and i think it's a very popular topic and uh, i do have few videos on this topic and i think uh, it is a very good indication for me to maybe create more videos in future where i will probably expand more but i think in this video i just wanted to show you very quickly how to uh, use jira rest api if you have no previous experience and you're not re really sure how to get started so using your browser you can uh, immediately start using the rest api if you have the right if you have the right rights or if even if you don't have the the admin rights you can still do things that you're doing from the jira interface so whatever you can do from your uh, ui like if you are working on let us say your uh, jira issue maybe you are uh, you're working on the ui you are adding a comment you can do you can do almost similar stuff using the using the rest api so for using the rest api you don't really need uh, to have the admin rights you just need to have the rights to work on jira and uh, this is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today thank you very much